Hello, this is Beta Ray Ben for Pixel Spec, and today I'm playing Valley, which on all of my earliest looks I thought was some way related to a game called A Valley Without Wind, which uh, there were two of them. There was A Valley Without Wind and A Valley Without Wind 2. And I thought this was this was the prequel no one asked for because there's clearly wind, so it's just called Valley, but it's none of that, and that's such a niche reference no one's going to get it. Choose a gender. Please select a gender for your character. Well, obviously this menu hasn't finished loading yet because nowhere near enough options there. Uh, let's go with male, just in case. The life seed is said to contain an incredible earth-shattering power. While mostly written off as a myth, some archaeologists are still determined to track down the elusive item luring some to incredibly remote locations. Apparently this, this shares the exact same backstory as the game Anthem. Is, is this, is this actually loading? Is, wow, seriously? In 2019, I'm waiting for a game to load? That's just, where's, uh, times have moved on. I used, I used to keep a Game Boy running Pokemon for this sort of thing. Through clever use of panning camera, you make a non-animated scene look animated. Beginner's Guide to Canoes. Are canoes that are complicated? I'm quite liking the aesthetic so far. The uh, the look of the, of the uh, the technology there. I I would say sort of 90s era tech. Right. Is this a survival crafting game? Perhaps. I don't actually know anything about this to be honest. I. I, I got sent a key and I was like, yeah, I'll have that. Remote region in the Canadian Rockies. I'm guessing he had a canoeing base accident. Useless dis discount canoeing lessons. He chuckles to himself. Oh, God. It's one of those first person games where you can look down and see your body. But no game can ever get the angle of that right, can they? The angle and perspective is always wrong. Like it, it looks like he stood like a, a really jaunty angle, doesn't it? All right, I've discovered a run button and no noticeable stamina meter. Ruins, cave drawings. Where the hell am I? Now I'm gonna let you in on. Oh, hold, yeah, hold left trigger to run. And I know this much. I know I do know one thing about this game. It's something about a leaf suit, which I thought to be a kind of Iron Man esque suit of high tech armor that lets you jump, because leaf stands for something. I can't remember what. I'm sure it will come up. It seems like a pleasant enough place to be, honestly. Where do we think we are? There's. Mountains. These trees look North American to me, if I had to guess. I would guess we're in North America. I've, I mean, I've made my guess. Some lights. I think this might be kind of a platform-ish game. Like a bit of platforming, but not really. But is it? Is it Journey without the art style? I gotta say, music, not bad. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of working. <gasps> Look, some floating lights. Hopefully they're benign. 
Ah, signs of civilization. Right, let's just... Uh, I'll just hit every button. What is this place? How hard did I hit my head? I uh, just ignore them. I feel like I, I'm being channeled in the right direction, but also it doesn't feel like like too narrow of a path, you know? <gasps> a film canister. An old army truck. Must have crashed here ages ago. <gasps> Look what we've got here. Oh, this is the leaf suit, isn't it? Does that say something king? It's like a mechanical suit. And behold, I am Iron Man. That's what he does, isn't it? That's how it goes. Alright. Old timey. Right, well, I need to know what LEAF stands for. That's all I really care about. Aerial? Le exploration? Le leaping? Air exploration? Aerial? Something. Come on. Give me the acronym. Leaping? Exploring? No, that's, no. There's no S in, in LEAF. That one, that one doesn't seem to fit in with the rest, does it? Hmm, really. Convenient is the word I would use for that. Why, why would you advertise that you've made a non-perfect item? I'll buy it. But it didn't tell me what leaf stood for. Cool. Leaf suit, huh? Alright. Press A to jump. Okay. Good. Big sort of floaty jump. That's alright. I can play audio reels now. I've got a compass. got a, a HUD, actually. Shortly after the outbreak of war in Europe, I was enlisted by the army to study the history of this valley. The mysterious forest sprites seem to be the last living remnants of the long lost culture that once lived Cheetah here. Sprint. A large number of them seem to inhabit the northeast sector of the valley. Just past the ruins where the life seed. That says access tunnel A, not tower. access tunnella, as I initially thought. That's as good a place as hmm. any to study them. This place is less abandoned than I thought if there's if there's like room for a boarded map. Oh look. There's is this just a training area for leaf-based activities? I'm, I'm already going to assume that the shtick is that they... Oh, red on the map. Does that mean it's where I've got to go? Oh, yeah, it does. Run down slopes to gain momentum to jump higher and further. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah! Wow. Okay, fair play. I, I'm kind of liking this. I'm liking the speed I'm moving at. That's that's nice. I like the music. That's good. Jesus Christ, he really he really honks along, doesn't he? I could do, I could kind of see myself doing this in VR. Weirdly, reminds me a bit of a game called Wind, Windlands. I think it was. I bet I can't swim. I should probably find that now, really, shouldn't I? I feel like my roots options have opened up somewhat, and at the same time, I've made no effort to, to look. Energy sword within the loof suit, known as Amrita, can be given to once living things. Press right trigger to shoot life energy towards dead trees or animals. Ah, oh, sweet. So it looks like that didn't actually use a full charge, it used about a quarter, so presumably I have eight shots. Behold, I am Thanatos, god of death, chooser of life. I give, I take, oh. I'm pretty sure I can take, but I, I don't know what the button is.
Behold. The bat. I'm, I'm assuming that, that there's a fairly easy way of recharging this. Like, probably something as easy as just holding down the button or... I know you can drain life, but... I'm, th I'm thinking it might be like a solar powered situation or a... I, d I, I don't know. Can I suck it out of these plants? No. Alright. Well, I've, give, I've given some life to the world. Not... You don't want too much life in the world. There remains a balance. Oh, I bet this is my energy here, isn't it? Give me your energy. Do we think there'll be any actual puzzle solving involved around life and death? I can kind of see it for trees, but not so much animals. But, but we'll see. This is the sort of game you can imagine that they'd, they'd be hesitant to show in like an E3 show reel because it, it wouldn't look like anything special, would it? It needs a more whimsical art style, I feel. Maybe third person, but you know, what do I know? Nothing. Literally nothing. God, it's so damn fast. I just want to run. Let's see, can I... Oh. Well, there was no... Leaf suits are very heavy equipment. This makes water incredibly dangerous. Yeah, but... I, I get that water's dangerous, but that's very shallow water. The, the leaf suit alone gives me an extra two foot of height. So I should really be okay, shouldn't I? Life can also be taken from nearby living things. Rich in energy. Uh, Alright. Use right bumper to take life. Yeah, I've made an error there because I took the life and I had nowhere to store it. So I've just depleted life from the world somehow. There's no way in hell I'm draining life from this deer. I've, look, there's, there's baby deer as well. I, I would sooner drain my own life, frankly. I don't... It's just... Not all games, but sometimes in games, I'm just like, no, not, not hurting that. Won't happen. Oh look, a tree. Clearly it's a thing of some sort. Yes, it's opened the way. Seems like these fireflies react to energy. Oh. Inexplicably, we've triggered an audio log. Look, those critters. They're just aliens, aren't they? Just, just, just call them aliens. You can make it magical. You can make it sci-fi. The 50s aesthetic, in my mind, works better with sci-fi. <gasps> Ooh, a power-up. Uh, energy capacity is increased with upgrades. Can find four. All right. I kind of like the fact that you need four to upgrade it, but also there were just two in the box anyway. There's, uh, I, I, there's something oddly realistic about that, isn't there? The, uh, the atmosphere is sort of changed somewhat and I, I feel as though we're about to sort of like reach a, a, a turning point in the narrative. No basis in fact for that whatsoever. Uh, I can't I can't actually see the third tree. It's probably through this door I just completely ignored before, isn't it? Let's trick it again. Pathfinder. Sounds cool, doesn't it? Mm. An acorn. And the medallion. Um, they're just collectibles, but still. 
have to wait just a bit longer to get their hands on these rides. I love it in, in things like this, where, where they're on like some weird expedition or or the story or whatever. But also they have this new technology that's completely unrelated to it and would be a game changer on its own and it's just not questioned. Use falling momentum to break through cracked surfaces. Like a ground pound. Oh. oh right. Soldiers piloting leaf suits. Leap effortlessly through air functionality. L E T A F. That should really be a let F suit, shouldn't it? Uh, life or running. So yeah, yeah, makes them deadly addition to the battlefield. They haven't got guns, though. And also, the whole manipulate life thing, I feel like that keeps being glossed over, like it's just an entirely normal additional ability. It's not, it's really weird. I'm actually happy that that only had one uh, energy thing in it. Capacitor, that's what it is. Capacitors are, are like batteries, but different. Ah, look at that. Or, already finding secrets. Just one in this area. Yeah. I will say one thing. It is a little bit dark, isn't it? Let's just... Just chop that up a bit. Yeah, that's a bit better. I, f I felt like it was just... It was just on, on the wrong side of, of atmospheric, isn't it? One of them things where you, you think in a video game, oh, they're about to give me a, a torch or some such ability, a flashlight. And then suddenly you realise, oh no, there's no ability for that. I just need to turn the brightness up. Always a fine moment. I'm, I've now made the decision, I'm just going to... Shit. Yeah. Valley health. The leaf suit's quantum death functionality allows users to return to life after dying. I think that was almost a scripted death. Not entirely, but pretty much. You know, one of them that tricks you. Nail it. Particularly because the roof of the tunnel also collapsed. But life must be traded for life. The more you die, the more the valley will die around you until it is fully deadened. Without enough life in the valley, you cannot be revived. Give life back to. Right. I have. I have just realised that it. It still costs uh, energy. Even when I keep missing, so really, like a half decent aim is fairly important. See, there's an odd mechanic then that I can give life back to the valley. That's great. I can take life from shit. Also fine. But then to recharge my capac capacitors, I need these blue energy orbs, which are just about. Did these respawn? What's what's the deal there? Also, give, like it all adds up to me having a fairly incredible amount of health, doesn't it? It's clear to me that the natives of the valley worshipped mm. the giant tree here almost as a deity. Seems nice. Great lengths were taken to construct obelisks around this tree, which the ancient obelisk helped grow it. Ah, here we are. I've begun to use the term Titan Tree to designate Ooh. this Titan Tree. That's good, According isn't it? Yeah, I'm not going to read that. I think I believe it was on screen just long enough that you could pause it and read it if you really wanted to. Uh, right, follow the Titan Tree's roots to activate all of the obelisks. Right, I feel like we've just been given a fairly 
long and robust quest. I'll be honest, I didn't have high hopes of this game, but it's really it's really picked up a bit. I feel like I could quite easily enjoy this. I do wonder, is it going to add anything in the way of combat? I'm kind of hoping not, honestly, because it, it seems like it might issue. I'm, I'm hoping the upgrades are just more traversal based. Possibly a grappling hook or, I don't know, bigger jumps probably. Okay, yep. So, I, I'm guessing I need some method to open that. If it was a floor, I could just jump on it. I thought running into it with inertia would be the answer. But actually, actually I bet that probably is still the answer. I'm going to have one more go at it. My instinct for the game tells me that if I couldn't get through it, it would tell me. Yeah. Oh, she's back again. The way they described it, I thought you'd just find all the logs around, but apparently you have the, the audio log all along and it just plays at random. Or oh, they have some 50 area GPS. Ah. Behold. I have juiced the tree. Should we make that the goal for this episode? Then I'll, I'll juice up the titan tree and then I'll and I'll see if I want to do any more of this. I'm quite tempted to. One error I have made, and you can't tell this at all, is I've I've set the game to play in a, in a window, at a, at a just st standard HD resolution, um, which for technical reasons means that the screen I'm watching this on is, let me just get this, it's, it's about yay, yay big, um, uh, very very slightly bigger than than an iPad I would say if it was if you were handed a tablet with a screen that size you would you wouldn't say it was a particularly large tablet you you wouldn't say it was small you wouldn't say it was large that's what I'm playing on and it, you know I feel like if I do play more I'll, I will I will remedy that perhaps <laughs> maybe switch over to to 4k or something and get get it really in me I, see, I've made an issue here. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to just run at the uh, objective marker, which is folly, because I need to be following the, the routes. And trouble is, I don't know which route I've already done, so I've made no effort to keep track of that. I don't think it was this one, though. I, it felt like the one I picked sort of ran in a fairly central fashion. Yeah, here we go. It's going to loop round into these ruins, isn't it? Ah, a door. By giving life to trees, there's a chance one or more golden acorns will drop. Collect and use acorns. Uh, it requires three acorns. I've got three acorns, thank you very much. So that got me through this door. Which, okay, fair play. I, on my own, can't figure out a way to get through it. I would have to climb up this area here to get through otherwise. This looks like the shortest section of all. It's not very high. Given that I can jump nearly up to it, it wouldn't take more than a small rope to work it out. Damon. Ah. Fighter of the Nightmen, perhaps. Can't resist it. I, I like the happy-go-lucky army picture painted in this. It's very Disney friendly. Oh, nearly caught that up entirely. It's weird. I'm being very nonchalant about this. There is certain death below and I'm barely even looking where I'm jumping to. I love the completely random amounts of uh, collectibles and shit you get in each one of those crates. Is might be one thing, it might be three things, you never know. People's personal effects have been dotted around. Alright, I think the route goes up here somewhere. 
Yeah. Yeah, this 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 feels right, doesn't it? Just curious, what's this travel? Wendigo Lake. See, that sounds nice, but a Wendigo is kind of an ancient evil that where if someone consumes human flesh too much, they turn into a Wendigo, which is a sort of semi-immortal-like creature that f also feasts on human flesh. And I think is weak to fire, and specifically it can... Uh, What's it? Mimic, like, human voices. That's that's the shtick of the Wendigo. So just that name alone implies like, a different step, doesn't it? Right, that blue light over there, is that... Is that an obelisk that I've already lit up? I don't think so. so I think there were three, and the two I did were the middle one and now the left one. and This is now the third. I'm tempted to just run straight at it. I'm going to do that. I want to run faster. Okay, all right. So we've got to traverse a lake here. Some stepping stones should be pretty easy. I'm, I'm pretty good at jumping. Immediately nearly messed that one up. Great. They give them ju just enough shine, don't they? So you, you can see them from a distance, but it's not too easy. I'll tell you what, what power up I'd like. Okay. Don't like that. Evil mask, straight up. Uh, yeah, I bet there's a power up that just points you to collectibles. I missed. Right, the tree should be lit up now. I very nearly died just then. It was only by the grace of jamming my hand on the jump button I survived. Can I make that? Yeah, I can make that. I don't know how deadly water is. I think it has to be, yeah, at least a little bit deep. I think if I hit the edge, I'd be all right. Demons? Um, oh, there's the tree. It, it got bigger. As well it should. Do we think this is going to be worth anything? Is it just going to be a portal? Is this a nexus? All questions that I, I, I won't likely get the answer to, will I? Oh yeah, there was a big thing under it, wasn't it? That, that was definitely an issue. Behold. How did this civilization take hold Soon to be the plot. And land looks pretty arable to me. There's trees and shit about. Okay, good. The military got here. I heard m mythical cannibal and giants. <gasps> Ooh. Power up time. What's it going to be? <gasps> it's something. Gets a higher and further over. It is by double jumping with the Icarus. Oh. Icarus boost upgrade. Each boost costs one unit of energy. Ah. I wonder how many I can do. One. Hmm. I like that. It's added some energy economy. Note from Virginia King. Well, yeah, I don't care about you, Virginia. Do you, know, do you know, honestly, it's the fact that her name is Virginia King. That's the name of a novelist that you're forced to study in school, isn't it? Later, you might develop a love for her work, but early on, you're like, oh, God, kill me, anything but this. Again, I, yeah, I'm not really basing that on anything. Mm. I see Cradle. Apparently, oh. the military was just as excited as they immediately confiscated it to study at the Soma facility on the mountaintop. They won't let me anywhere near it. Isn't Soma the name of that um, that horror game from the from the uh, 
Not Outlast, the machine Amnesia from the Amnesia people. Probably unrelated. So there's a, a lab based facility which my instinct says it's going to be in ruins and not be in, in working order. Alright. Maximum momentum! Wow. Oh. I saw something shiny immediately over there. Uh, you know what? I think that's a pretty good point to stop on, isn't it? We've we've arrived at Beware of Amrita Swarms. They can be pacified with life energy. Damage from their attacks affects the energy count. Alright. I'm guessing that purple thing's an Amrita Swarm. Pass through the swarm to... Let's go and pacify it and see what happens then. I don't really know what I'm supposed to run at here. Oh. How much does it regain me? Will they respawn? It doesn't seem like it. So there is actually combat in the game, which is surprising. I wasn't expecting that. Well, we made it to the facility. It is damaged, um, which I did kind of expect, didn't I? Oh, couldn't have warned me a bit sooner, love. They aren't so bad when they're calm, but when they're starved of Amrita energy, they become incredibly aggressive, sending waves of drones toward intruders and suicidal attacks. Oh, I see. So I, I shoot them up for the energy in it. It calms them. Yeah, but look. Possible power up. I don't know, it's just, just some capacitors. But enough for a whole new thing. Uh, yeah, it does. That, so, just, so those bigger boxes are always like an upgrade. Like a full upgrade is, is what I'm gathering. Now there's, there's generators. Christ. I'm supposed to be stopping playing this. Alright. Well, I feel I feel that's that's the end of this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I am quite tempted to make some more in this, as it does seem to be a good game. A few things I don't know. What's the saving mechanic? I presume it's auto save because it's yet to say the word save in any way. Uh, when a pathfinder dies, yeah, that's fine. Also, this loading business. Seems to be just every now and again the game needs to load. Like there was a good transition there where I was I was just running, which felt really cool. Oh, I got got a, a steam achievement. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I don't give a shit. What was the story again? I, I'm just some guy who went canoeing looking for a life seed. Which it turns out the US military knows about and has found. Okay, right. Yeah, the elevator breaking would be scarier if I didn't have like an immunity to fall damage already. From what I've been told, the Saurus was discovered back in eighteen eleven. The hell of a thing. I mean look at it. I no why, I just I like I like shit like this. Just, just looking at big shit. It's impressive, isn't it? Like that, not that sort of retro futurism at all. It's cool. I'm supposed to be stopping. Thanks for watching. I'll, I'll see you next time.